What makes an opening sequence weak, and why are some opening moves weaker than others? I'm going to answer those questions in today's video as I walk through the 10 toughest playable openings in checkers. This list is largely scientific in nature and is created in part by computer analysis of the 156 playable openings, so I can say it's not subjective. The order may be up for debate, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. All the openings in this list are sound, but they require an extensive amount of knowledge to navigate through them safely. I've talked about how this is the weakest opening move to begin the game, and this initial opening move shows up four times on this list. So let's begin, counting down from number 10. Number 10 the dreaded Edinburgh. And yeah, it's dreaded all right, as red has made two incredibly weak moves to the side of the board and white commanding the center, and can play the deceptively strong move here next, or here, striking into the heart of red's double corner. Number nine, the octopus. It's no fun getting wrapped up in this opening. The sequence here allows white to really cramp red's double corner with the natural move next for red actually being a published play loss. So the best move for red here to further develop its single corner, and now white can attack either with the powerful move here, or further destroy the red's double corner by taking the double jump. Number eight, the twilight zone. And you'll probably be thinking you're living in a different reality with this opening, as the sequence here is littered with unnatural moves. The center exchange is very weak and probably loses, with the side jump being the best way to survive. And white looks to attack the double corner going forward. Number seven, the Inferno. And Red is in real hot water after this opening and is in desperate need of a cooldown. White is going to attack the vulnerable double corner for Red, and Red is just going to have to focus its defense primarily on protecting it as long as possible. Number six, the black hole. And red is completely adrift in this opening with the double corner being completely exposed and some unnatural moves are key to securing the draw. White has a number of attacks at its disposal and it's an uphill climb to say the least for red. Number five, the Skullcracker. And you may get a headache dealing with this opening. After the jump sequence, Red will be left with an outpost piece, and White is going to attack it and show no mercy. The survival of this piece is key to Red's defense. And as you can see, Red's double corner is pretty much obliterated at this point. Number four, the Black Widow. 
Red's early removal of White's middle center can be lethal unless White can triage and shore it up. Red is going to continue to attack this weakness with White limited to playing defense the entire game. Number three, the White Doctor. This seemingly innocent opening is anything but, as once White secures the single corner cramp, Red must sacrifice this piece. Anything else in the board loses. So once the piece is sacrificed, Red is going to play a piece down the entire game, and that is no fun at all. Number two, the wilderness two. And there's a very good chance you'll get lost in the woods in this opening, but that's okay. You'll be in good company. The greatest player of all time, Dr. Marion F. Tinsley, once considered this an outright loss. After white attacks, red's double corner. Red must make star move after star move to navigate safely to a draw. And finally, number one, the toughest opening in checkers is the double cross. You might be surprised to know this opening is one of the oldest playable on this list, yet it's by far the toughest opening in the game. White's double corner is completely obliterated after this capture, with red driving powerful attacks either here, here, or even here next. Even if white plays perfectly, it's very difficult to navigate through the end game. Well, there you have it, the top 10 toughest openings in checkers. There are definitely some honorable mentions, such as Gemini 1 and 2, the Attenborough single, Tyne, as you can see here, and the Diabolical Denny. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're interested in learning more about opening play, I recommend checking out my opening series playlist in which I cover all seven initial opening moves and each counter move. Thank you, as always, for watching.